Hello everyone, uh, I'm the Bharti and I would be continuing the talk on code periphery structures that IIT just gave. So um, right now let, we're going to be discussing a kind of technique called as K-shell decomposition. This technique was put forward in a paper by Kitsak et al. It's called the identification of influential spreaders in complex networks. Uh, in this paper basically uh, Kitsak et al. tried to uh, decompose a given network into different shells possible and categorize these shells into core shells and periphery shells as Yayati has already described. In K-shell decomposition method, the basic algorithm involves uh, a simple pruning technique by which you basically look at a node and you see its surrounding nodes. So you look at a node and see what degree it has. So you go recursively pruning each of these uh, nodes. So as you can see on the screen, uh, there is a network that's provided on the right hand side. So in this case, what they do is they prune all the nodes with degree 1 till no degree 1 nodes are left. And these nodes which have been pruned have been assigned a index, which is KS, which is basically nothing but its pruning index or the degree based on which it has been pruned. So what does this mean? Uh, quite simply stated, we can visualize this as every node uh, has been analyzed. Supposing it is having a degree 1, we are going to remove uh, all the nodes which are having degree 1 and put it in a bucket and label that bucket as degree 1 bucket. Then you are going to look at the network and check, are there any more nodes which have degree 1? If there are such nodes, then you are going to add these nodes to the same bucket. This you will continue doing until there are no more nodes having degree 1 left. Now you move to the next bucket and you go for nodes having degree 2. This you do till there are no more nodes having degree 2. And you continue doing this till the graph becomes empty. So what is the result? In the end you will have buckets of degree 1, 2, 3 onwards till n. Whichever is your last portion. So the last bucket that you would have derived would consist of a shell which has nodes less than or equal to degree n. So uh, this case, this bucket we can call as the core bucket. And the uh, initial case where we have derived degree 1 and things like that, in those cases we can call this bucket which is consisting of those nodes which are having degree 1 and lesser degree nodes as the periphery buckets. So basically what is the idea? The idea is a core node is basically a node which is uh, having uh, uh, the ability to stick around in the network. It is so deeply embedded in the network that even after pruning it is the last to emerge. So based on this technique Kitsak uh, derived two kinds of shells which is core shells and periphery shells and he discovered that the Core shells are the ones which are the influential spreaders in a complex network. 